Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do all those crazy techie moves, or at least a basic understanding of them, in Super Mario Odyssey. No doubt you've seen people doing stuff like leaping, jumping off of Cappy, ground pound jumping, leaping again, diving off of Cap. Well, maybe not that complicated, but people have been doing some ruddy complicated things to do some ruddy, ruddy impressive jumps. And uh, hopefully I'm going to show you how to do all that sort of thing if you don't know how to do it. So I'm going to pop over back here just to, um, just to give you a very brief introduction, because I'm going to give you a brief introduction and then go on to the more sort of detail orientated stuff and show you some examples in a bit. But uh, first of all, let's talk moves. There's one mistake that I think a lot of people make when it comes to doing acrobatics and stuff like that, or at least attempting them in Super Mario Odyssey. A lot of people seem to have difficulty bouncing off Cappy when you do a dive like that, which is where you jump, throw Cappy, and then dive and you land on top of him and bounce off. A lot of people seem to have difficulty doing that. And as you can see, I'm not doing it here, but the reason it's not working is because when you want to dive on Cappy, when you press Y to do the dive after pressing ZL or ZR, for example, here. <laughs> or I could throw Cappy first, that'd be good, wouldn't it? So you need to throw Cappy. You need to hold the Y button down. So uh, I, I won't try and show you the controller because it would be, it, it would look rubbish, frankly. So whenever you're trying to jump on Cappy, make sure you are holding the Y button down. Otherwise, you will just fall right through him. So if you've been having that issue, hopefully I've cleared that up for you. So if that's all that was wrong, can probably leave the video, I suppose. But no doubt you've seen some people do some crazy maneuvers like jumping from here all the way over to, uh, well, that bit of new Donk City over there, the actual entrance part. And uh, whilst I haven't been able to do that myself, I have been able to do some other rather impressive jumps and things like that. But first of all, we're going to start off with high jumps. Now, the things you're going to be really needing when it comes to high jumps are the ground pound jump, because it's simply the most straightforward one to use. Obviously, throwing Cappy, bouncing off him, and wall jumps as well. And of course, the dive like that because it's so useful but um we're gonna head over to a slightly secret area called isolated rooftop in order to show you all this good stuff don't worry there's no spoilers or anything it's literally just a just an area with a moon and this this big sort of girder block i suppose which oh, actually is it is kind of shadowy oh i see yeah right now you see this now you might think well there's no way you can possibly get up here you know you try every kind of move, you know, you try wall jumping, you can even try getting up as high as you can, throwing Cappy and diving in, you're just going to hit it and it's not going to work and stuff like that, but there is a way to do it. Um, whilst you would indeed do that sort of method for a long jump, you know, diving onto Cappy and stuff like that, here what you want to be doing is you want to do this. Yeah. Okay, so what was I doing there? Well, basically, uh, I tell you what, I'll, I'll run it in slow motion and I'll just have me talking over the top saying exactly what I'm doing as it's happening. Jump, ground pound, jump, throw Cappy, holding Y of course, ground pound, jump again, bounce off Cappy, wall kick, throw Cappy towards your objective, dive. It is a little bit complicated and, you know, for new players and stuff like that, it may well be beyond your capabilities, but all you can do is practice. And again, watching this video isn't going to make you some sort of super brilliant person who can do any jump in Super Mario Odyssey. No, you're going to have to practice. This isn't a get out of jail free card. This isn't a free pass. This isn't an easy rider. This isn't Mario. Well, it is. Now, before we get off high jumps just yet, I just want to show you a technique that I... I say I discovered, basically, no, nobody told me, but no doubt other people have found this before me because welcome to the internet and stuff like that. But uh, as you can see here, this is an area where you sort of feel like you should be able to wall jump. And you can, but you're basically making no progress. In fact, you might be moving down slightly every time you make a jump or just staying in the same location. I think I am going up, but it's going to take me far too long. It's just not worth doing. However, just by throwing Cappy at the end of each jump, you can do a long wall jump. If, you know, I'm coining it now. It's a long wall jump, and this allows you to make wall jumps in areas where otherwise you wouldn't really be able to do it. And get up to potentially, whoa, uh, that's essentially, uh, potentially get up to areas that you couldn't before, although it's uh, fairly unlikely. But nevertheless, I wanted to throw it in as a little, as a little bonus for you. But now let's do long jumps. So I'm going to attempt to jump from this corner to the opposite corner, just using regular jumps, just using a long jump, basically. I'm going to give myself a good run up to get a good bit of speed. And I'm going to long jump. And as you can see, no way. Mario just whacks his face against the wall 
and yet somehow is fine because Mario. So in order to do this, we're going to have to employ Mario jumping off of Cappy by diving and things like that in order to try and make that extra distance. And it's pretty straightforward. This is in fact probably easier than doing the high jumps. So uh, you may want to start with this one if you like. This is a fairly easy jump to do as well. Long jump, throw Cappy, dive onto him, and you just need to do that. If you need to make a little bit of extra distance, you can throw Cappy again and dive again. That'll give you a bit of extra distance. In fact, I reckon I might be able to make that jump. I haven't tried this before, but... Yep, I'm going to make it. And that's how you do that. It's, it's really simple, and um, although the execution comes, you know, the execution is the difficult thing. It's, you know, getting all the button presses absolutely right and making sure that they really are as good as they can be. And yeah, that's the long jump. In fact, you know what, let's, let's, let's show you a really hard one. Okay, now from here, I can jump and do a nice big long jump. And you might be thinking, okay, well, can you get there? In which case the answer is yes, that is actually fairly easy. I will show you how to do that. Again, it's just a long jump. You can nearly make it with just a standard long jump. It's pretty simple as that. But what about if I want to get here? Now I'm going to give myself a good run up. Usual thing. Throw Cappy. Dive. No, not quite. Can't quite make it. However, by using additional techniques, you can indeed make that jump. And I think you can make it fairly easily. I mean, it's still not easy. But um, by taking other things into consideration, you can make the distance and make it relatively comfortably. Because one of the other things you've got to take into account is momentum. How quickly Mario is moving depends on how far he will jump. Now, you can increase momentum by doing things like rolling, stuff like that. However, that can be a bit difficult to control, although it is really the best way to build up momentum. However, for this distance, this jump here, we can actually use a much simpler method of just doing one long... Way! Okay, let's try that again. By doing just a small long jump before the actual long jump and timing everything just right, you can make it across relatively comfortably. And that extra little bit of momentum really can make all the difference. And uh, that's something that you've got to take into account. Although, actually, actually, no, no, no. No, let's, let's, let's go with something else. The timing that you use when you're throwing Cappy and diving off him and stuff like that is absolutely paramount and is probably more important than momentum. Because if you look, when you do a long jump, if you throw Cappy, you immediately lose pretty much all your momentum. And um, the same happens when you do a dive. If you're doing a dive, I mean, from a dive, you actually get your own momentum, but it, it, it essentially resets it. So if you've got a really nice bit of momentum and you do a dive, you're going to lose all that momentum you've built up. So it comes down to timing and thinking, how quickly am I going? Do I need to keep going? Is it time to throw the hat and dive just yet? Because uh, that's really important. So um, I'm going to attempt to do this. I'm going to attempt to do it in one take. Um, can't really do anything to gain any additional momentum here. So it entirely comes down to accuracy and uh, timing. So uh, <laughs> well, let's just go for it. Long jump. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll show you what it looks like if you just do what, what I tried first, because that I thought made it entirely impossible, but I have seen people do this, so uh, clearly it isn't. So what I was doing before is I wasn't taking timing into consideration in the slightest, and I was doing this. So do you remember how far I got before? And now I'm nowhere near absolutely nowhere near so timing makes all the difference and is something you definitely need to take into account if you're going to do any of this techie bollocks okay so i just want to finish off by showing you some interesting jumps and things like that um including one that a lot of people i'm, I'm sure have seen but it's so good it's worth seeing again so uh you just need to oh god nothing like that so as you can see there's an island over there and the island's where we want to go unsurprisingly so i'm just gonna make a little jump over here and I'm sure... Now, I've made this before, but I don't think I did it that way. Clearly. Let's try that again. This is the thing. So much of doing all these techie things is trial and error. And so you just need to keep, you just need to keep trying. Actually, now I think about it, I'm pretty sure I long jumped, didn't I? So let's try that. I seem to remember the railing can be, yeah, a bit difficult to get over. But uh, no doubt I can. Let's cut to the successful attempt. <laughs> just so happened to be the first one. So I'm flying over like this, and as you can see, I haven't done any diving at all, and I'm nearly there, because you you really do lose that much... M m m m you really do lose that much momentum, and to be honest, I reckon I probably could have just long jumped and got there all the way. In fact, well, seeing as I'm here, I could try it, couldn't I? Ah! Okay, here we go. 
I'm just going to keep long jumping. Am I going to make it? It wasn't a great start, but I reckon I can do that. Let's try that again. I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling brave. It's not going to... It's a... <laughs> I still reckon I can do it. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Come on, baby. Come on. It's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> All right, so I can't do that, but I think it probably is possible. Somebody better than me probably could make it work. But what I want to show you is a really cool little skip that honestly skips so much. It's good fun. I know there's nothing left to do here, Cappy, but you can shut your face. Now, no doubt you've been here at some point, maybe if you've been playing the game and you've got to do all these loop-de-loopy things like this, but you know what? We're, we're far too cool for that. So <laughs> that looked bloody close, wasn't it? So instead, we're just going to jump straight to the moon. More importantly, we're going to jump to the second moon, because the first moon's up there, not that I can show you from here, um, but the second moon is up there, and we're just going to up, skip, jump, throw, dive, throw, dive, <laughs> and you can skip everything. It's brilliant. I love it. And uh, you can just hop on here and this takes us back down. And that just shows you the power of these things. And I wonder whether they knew that that was a skip there because there's a little gap in the railing. And without that, I'm not entirely sure you'd be able to do it. So, you know, it's just the developers know they made this game. They know that people are going to try and break it, for lack of a better term. Abuse it, I think. That sounds worse. But anyway, I hope that was helpful for some people out there. I know it's not ultra comprehensive or anything like that, but if you're just starting out and you want to try and give these things a go, hopefully, I hope this has helped you a little bit. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you spin, jump, jump, ground pound, dive, jump, throw cappy with that subscribe button. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,